Hello friends, what's up? Welcome to robocard.com. You would have seen in mystery movies that the laser security system is used in banks, lockers, etc. And the villain whosoever tries to dodge the laser system but yet gets caught. When the laser lines that is the line of sight are cut by the intruder, it triggers the alarm. So just imagine how fun it would be if I say you can make such a security system on your own. Sounds interesting, right? So let's start and gather the components needed. Laser diode or any source of laser light, LDR, transistor BC547, buzzer, LED, any resistor above 100K, that is in our case 220K, breadboard, battery, battery connectors and jumpers. So let's connect. Take a breadboard and connect the battery connector. Now take a transistor. It has three terminals as you know, emitter, base and collector. Connect it very carefully and you can keep some gap in between these terminals in order to reduce the mess. Now take a LDR light dependent resistance. It is basically a light controlled variable resistor. The resistance of a photoresistor decreases with the increasing light intensity. Hence, its resistance will decrease when the light falls on it. But what we want is exactly the opposite. The resistance should decrease when no light falls on the LDR. Hence, we will connect the LDR to the base and emitter. This will interchange its application. Connect the LED and the buzzer. But before that, we need to connect our resistor as our LED and buzzer will burn if we connect them directly with the battery. So here we are using a 100K resistor. But why? Okay, so there is another use of this resistor in this circuit. The 100K ohms resistor and LDR both will generate as much resistance that is enough to keep both LED and buzzer off. Hence, we are specifically using this one. So, after the connection, we can say that when the light falls on the LDR, it will generate high resistance and the addition of both the resistors will almost nullify the flow of current. And hence, the LED and the buzzer will not work. As the light is removed, the resistance of the LDR is reduced and the current starts to flow, which will lead the buzzer and the LED to turn on. This is our basic working principle, so let's move further and complete the circuit. Connect the anode of the LED to the base of the transistor, but not directly. Remember to put a resistor in between. So, connect the one end of the resistor to the base and the other end of the resistor will get connected to the anode of the LED. The cathode of the LED will be connected to the collector of the transistor. Similarly, connect the buzzer in the same way as the LED, positive to the resistor and negative terminal to the collector. Now, connect the positive terminal of the battery to the anode of the LED and buzzer. And the negative terminal will be connected to the emitter of the transistor. Okay, so now the connection is complete, so just connect the battery and complete the circuit. So let us turn off the lights or reduce the light intensity in the room. Now you can see when I cover the LDR with my hand, that is when I obstruct the light, the LED and the buzzer will glow and buzz respectively. Now let's try it with the laser light. For that, we are using laser diode. We have decorated the laser light for the demonstration. Look, when I place the beam of laser on the LDR, everything is off. And as I move the beam away from the LDR, the buzzer and the LED gets on. Isn't it cool? So now, let's build up a small setup for this. I have placed the LDR exactly in front of the laser diode so that the incident beam directly falls on the LDR. Now, 
as some obstacle tries to enter in this range, the beam will be obstructed and the buzzer and LED will ring and glow respectively. So hey, now even you can secure your home or any drawer of your chocolates, etc. So go ahead with your own security system and try to make one on your own. Thank you.